Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing out a very interesting product and that is a setting spray. A lot of times I get asked about how to make your makeup last longer and the simple answer is use a product that will lock in your makeup, prevent it from smudging, transferring and you can achieve this with the help of a setting spray. So today I'll be testing out the NYX setting sprays. I've got one which is the radiant finish one and this which which is a matte finish one. NYX is a brand I have used for so long, pretty much since I started my journey with makeup, which was in 2010. It's a brand that offers such a variety of products and it's loved by both makeup artists as well as consumers. So before I use the product on my face, I just want to see how it really works. So I'm going to test it on my hand. I've got some foundation, some um, eyeshadow crayon and lipstick on the back of my hands. I'm going to spray the setting spray only on one side, let it dry completely and then we'll see what difference it makes. So I'm going to take the matte finish one, I'm going to shake it well and I'm going to spray it from about a distance of six inches. Okay, so I've got this on. I'm going to let it dry completely and then I'm going to try and smudge it and we'll see what happens. Now, because I don't use a lot of setting sprays, my makeup tends to melt down, get greasy or just disappear till the end of the day. So today I'm going to try this on. I'm going to do regular check-ins so you guys can see how it's performing. Is my makeup still there? Is it gone? And we'll get a really real view of how this product works and performs. The setting spray has dried down completely and we're going to see now uh, the difference when I try to smudge these products. So let's try the one without the setting spray. If I do this, you can see the lipstick starts to smudge. Um, similarly, with the eyeshadow crayon, because of the formula, it's all too much is a little bit but not as much and with the foundation um, there's definitely smudging now let's try the hand where I have the setting spray on so with the lipstick I think um, there's a tiny bit of smudging but a lot lesser than without it with the eyeshadow crayon there's absolutely no smudging and with the foundation also, there's very little smudging actually. So between the two hands, um, there's definitely much improvement when I use the setting spray versus when I don't. And now it's time to test the product on the face. So I've been thinking whether I should use the matte or the radiant finish. I think I'm going to go with the radiant finish. It's no secret that I love dewy, radiant, glowy makeup. So I'm going to try this one. I've already mattified my T-zone with a bit of powder, so I want to see what happens when I use the Radiant Finish Spray. The application is really simple. Uh, make sure you shake it, keep it at a distance of about six inches, and then use three to four pumps to cover your entire face. So let's go for it. to let this dry down completely and then check in in the mirror and let's see what happens. So the product has completely dried down on my skin. I'm just checking on my phone and I think uh, my skin does look radiant but not super dewy. So we're going to check after three hours what happens, whether everything is still intact or something has smudged or disappeared from my skin. The setting spray is a very versatile product. Not only can you use it at the end of your makeup to lock everything in place but you can also use it as a primer before you apply your foundation you can use it on your blender or your foundation brush just to get that extra layer of security to keep your foundation in place you can also use it with any of your color products like suppose if you want your eyeshadow to give more color payoff and last longer you can spray your brush with the setting spray before you apply the eyeshadow my favorite trick though is highlighter if you just spray your brush a little bit before dipping into your highlighter your highlighter just looks a lot more intense and stays a lot better okay guys I'm going to um, do some work and we'll check in in three hours to see how my makeup looks
A three hour check in, I felt like my makeup was still intact, my blush, my foundation, my concealer, and I still had a radiant finish. Then by the six hour mark, um, I was still really happy with how my skin looked. Of course, you can see that my blush has faded, but it's not completely gone. And my skin is slightly more dewy, but it's not too shiny. So I'm really happy with these results. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye.